We've got um, Mojo. Mojo, yeah. Want to talk about that? That's, a, that's another passion, yeah. uh, passion thing. I, uh, t basically in 2000, like 22 years ago, um, this was my second startup, but yes. I founded it with my two best friends from, from grammar school or high school, and uh, Lax and Vinny, and uh, we, we created, created something called thepit.com, which was a, right. meant to be a sports stock market, but because you couldn't have gambling at the time, we had to use a baseball card as the proxy for the athletes. Right. So, but we made it, there was a ticker and portfolio and bid offer, and you can buy and sell, and it was really cool. And then Tops, the baseball card company, bought- That was your first exit, actually, Yeah, bought right? that company, right? We started that company nine months before the crash of 2000. Right. Which is, that was another experience. But uh, we always, for the last two decades, had this dream of wanting to do the sports stock market. And we learned so much, and we knew what had to be done. And um, it wasn't until now that the gambling laws are allowing people to, to create it that through gambling with Mojo, you could actually make a, a bet on the career of a player. Right. And you make that bet real time so you can get in, in and out. Well, that's basically a stock. A stock is a bet on the future earnings of the company. This is a bet on the future you know, career ending statistic of the player. And so it's, it's very exciting. And it just launched a couple of weeks ago and um, I'm excited to see what that can do. But it's, it, it really is, is a dream come true on that one. So I feel like it's really interesting because I feel like the whole um, business that you sold to Tops, and then Mojo, like to me, it's not an area I personally love, but it sort of feels very connected to all of the stuff happening with crypto um, and cryptocurrency, which these days, if somebody was to start a company like that, they would have like an NFT element to it or something yeah. like that. So is that anything that you are looking at? No, I think it's, as, even as though it might sound like it, I think it's completely different and the complete opposite ends of the spectrum because crypto has no inherent intrinsic value. So, no. you know, supply and demand dictates price. On Mojo, because you will get paid, it's a bet, you will get paid at the end of the person's career, their career stat, whatever that right. stat is, and it's different for different sports, but you'll get paid that. So when you look at a player today and you look at what they're priced at, if you think the career stat is gonna be higher than where they're right. priced, buy it. If you think it's gonna be lower, sell it. And so it has intrinsic value. It's not based on the whims of supply and demand or hype or, you know, there's no bubble, if you will. Like it's just, it just will pay based on, on, on the stat, which makes it, what makes it a, it's a pure stock market. It's even more pure than the stock market itself because yeah. you could predict a company's earnings and the, and the stock might still go down.